Hello YouTube, I'm Toby, and today we're going to explore whether or not case fans are actually important for cooling your PC. Now this particular PC is an old ThinkStation, um, sorry, ThinkCenter, Lenovo ThinkCenter M58. Now this is my personal Tinker computer, um, all the parts in here have been used in other projects, and the power supply was recently uh, modified to uh, extend the cables for another project and thus that is why it's uh, such a cable mess in there. Now I've got two uh, case fans in this PC, one for exhaust on the back and one for intake that is uh, hot glued in place. Don't ask. So the specs of this uh, system right now is uh, we have a um, Intel Pentium dual core CPU, we have 4 gigabytes of a DDR2 RAM and the GPU is the uh, Nvidia GeForce uh, 9800. Now the way this test is going to work is that I'm going to run three tests. The first test is going to be without any case fans. The second test is going to be with uh, only the uh, well, the system fans and the uh, exhaust fan running. And the third test is going to be with all case fans uh, running. To monitor the um, temperature we'll be using uh, the um, MSI afterburner and uh, real temp. The tests we're going to run are Cinebench R15 and firmware preset 720p. So without further ado, let's uh, disconnect the uh, case fans and get going. Now Cinebench runs pretty well and we ended with a score of 126. And firmware ran, well, hot, but ended with a score of 871. Now the CPU maximum temperature in this test was 55 degrees Celsius and the GPU reached an unholy temperature of 105 degrees Celsius. I actually didn't think this uh, card would uh, would get this high, but apparently it did. Alright, time for test number two. We're going to, going to hook the um, exhaust fan up and uh, close the case up. And we're going to run Cinebench one more time, and uh, once again we got 126 points in the Cinebench, but Fermark jumped to 880. But those are not the important numbers. The important numbers are the temperatures. A CPU maximum temperature uh, had fallen to 48 degrees Celsius. It's already a uh, well a good improvement and our GPU maximum temperature had fallen to 98 degrees Celsius. This is still very very high for a GPU but it's an improvement nonetheless. So our third and final test we uh, also plugged in the front intake fan and closed the system up once more. Now Cinebench ended with a score as you've probably already guessed of 126 points. And Fermark uh, once again got 880 points. Now the CPU temperature did not change, we're still running at 48 degrees Celsius. However, the GPU maximum temperature had fallen to 91 degrees Celsius. Now this is still quite hot for a GPU. I don't really like to run mine over uh, 80 degrees Celsius, but I guess this one uh, does. Now the 9800 runs quite hot as I have already uh, seen a couple of times. I think the heat uh, heatsink is made from brass, but I am not entirely sure. Alright YouTube, so these are the uh, results. And as you uh, can probably guess, there is actually a major difference. Um, I know this uh, particular GPU runs very hot, but uh, we managed to get it down by, what, 14 degrees Celsius? So that is a pretty good result in my book. And this uh, pretty much just shows everybody that it's, it is important to, um, well, to have some case fans in your uh, system. I would definitely recommend both an exhaust and at least one intake fan. Now in a system like this, it's difficult to, well, really uh, help airflow, especially when you've modified the cables on your power supply. But it's what it is, and I really hope you enjoyed this video, and hope you learned something. Thank you very much for watching.